Hi there, fam. Um, I actually am having to do this seated because standing is a bit of a struggle. I'm on the struggle bus right now, but it's freaking awesome to, to be back pushing and training hard. And like, I'm probably like shaking right now. I'm like, yeah! We, I did a lower body workout, mostly focusing on quads. Uh, but with that being said, I always like to start my workouts, my lower body workouts with some kind of um, glutes, like warm up. Um, I just feel it makes me stronger uh, to get the glutes like woken up. <laughs> um, so that's why I started with the B stance, um, hip thrust. Uh, 10 each side, three rounds, just to get the blood flowing. Um, then after that, we went to the quad dominant um, squad with the prime wedge. But as I said, if you cannot have or find the prime wedge, you can put plates on your heels. Um, I just f really find that the wedge makes the, the transition a lot smoother. You don't have like that break from the plate, but again, it is what it is. So this is gonna be a quad dominant squad. Um, I normally, when I'm doing a quad dominant squad, I like to use this by prime. You can either buy the whole thing or they have like separate, um, two little chunks. If your gym doesn't have this um, or you cannot get the separate ones, which is quite easy to bring your own to the gym. Another thing you can do is should get two plates because this is what you're gonna do. I want to elevate the the heels a little bit, so whenever you're going down into a squat, it's gonna push you to, to, uh, to be a bit more uh, squat dominant. Um, the plates are the second best thing. Ideally speaking, that little ramp is uh, a lot better. So if you can, if you don't have the wedge, just use the plates. And then from that, uh, a little bit of a high intensity, high impact movement uh, with the tuck jumps. Um, again, if you are a lady who just had a baby recently, um, I would recommend avoiding that high impact movement. Um, you can do, uh, keep both feet on the ground and just like raise your knee and try to move as fast as possible. We wanna uh, uh, try to avoid the high impact. So if you just had a baby recently, you have that recti or any pelvic floor issues. As a pre and postnatal coach, it is my duty to warn you. After that, after the quad dominant and the tuck jumps, we went to a Smith machine. Um, I really like that combo on the Smith machine, one, because it's time efficient in a way that you're not like faffing about moving everywhere. Uh, you just keep the same weight uh, for the lunge and then for the pump squat. So the way that I like to do the pump squat is to do five pumps at the bottom, narrow legged, um, five pumps, come up, down, five pumps. You can do four or five on the last set. I went for five because why not? Uh, so from the lunge to the pumps and then after that we went all the way to the other side we went to the leg extension with the single leg uh, it's not really a pistol because the foot's not in the front uh, but it feels like a lot like a, a pistol squat uh, but I, I find it more comfortable for my body to have to put the hanging leg to the back I just find that for me, it works best, but you can try bringing your foot to the front as well. If 
you do not have a kettlebell, you can totally use a dumbbell too. Uh, TRX, if you have it, great. If you have uh, the poor cousin of the TRX, that works too. Um, and even if you have rings, like a lot of CrossFit gyms have, you can use the rings as well. Uh, basically anything that you can hang from. Um, so we did that and to finish with the cherry on top of the icing and kill it. Um, I did a drop set on the leg extension and that was it. Um, before that, I warmed up with a little bit of cardio. I personally prefer, like, this is a question that I get asked all the time in regards to the cardio. Uh, when do you do the cardio? Is it better than an empty stomach? Well, the research shows that if there isn't much difference with doing your cardio on an empty stomach or not from a fat loss standpoint. Um, my take as a coach is uh, I always tell my girls, do your cardio when it fits around your schedule because I can create the most amazing, beautiful design, the cardio plan and workout plan, but if it doesn't fit around somebody else's schedule and they don't do it, it's worthless. So do the cardio when it's best for you. Before or after workout, the research says that it's best after the workout, marginally, uh, but again, it goes back to what do you prefer? Natalia, me, I personally prefer doing my cardio before. It's the time that I use a lot of time to catch up with my work emails, answer uh, DMs on Instagram, make my posts, and just um, when I'm doing courses, um, I try to take courses quarterly just to stay fresh. Um, that's normally when I listen to the, the like lecture part of a lot of courses that I have been doing online. So it's just what I prefer. Again, whatever works for you, whatever you can fit around your schedule and whatever is best for you. And with that being said, if you have any questions about anything uh, in regards of this workout, or if you'd like me to dem demonstrate any other body part and show my workouts, uh, just write in the comments area and I'll be more than happy to address that, talk about that, or even if you want me to do some kind of live Q&A uh, with you guys, I'll be more than happy to do that too. Um, you can always find me at Natalia Mello Fit um, on, on the gram, hashtag FitFam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always present on the Better Bodies uh, community Facebook group. If you're not there, you're missing out because a lot of the deals happen there. Um, you can find more about my stuff on my website, which is nataliamellofit.com. And um, yeah, just send me a DM, holla at your girl, and I'll see you later.